Hi guys, I just got this NAS from China. It's a Chinese NAS, but it doesn't, unlike any other NAS, it doesn't have software built in. This is essentially a four bay enclosure for 3.5 inch hard drives. And uh, for all intents and purposes, it's a normal computer, just smaller. So let me tell you about it first. It has an Intel Celeron J1900 CPU. Comes bare bones. Uh, it has a, a passively cooled processor. It doesn't have RAM. Also doesn't come with the hard drives. Got this online for about 200 US dollars. And this is the thing. So in the box, this came with plastic wrapped around it. Two pieces of styrofoam on either side to cushion it during the transport. Also in the box was this power brick. This one is rated for uh, 12 volts, 5 amps. Power cord. They charge additional for this but I talked them into giving this for free. And then finally it came with this. Uh, little plastic bag of screws which i assume is for your four hard drives uh, i counted these you're only supposed to have 16 screws but i think they give you extra in case you lose them so take a look at this this is the four bay chinese nas they were selling this as an nvr a network video recorder for uh, your CCTV IP cameras, but I think this can also be configured as an ass. So in the front, let's have a look at this This thing pops off from the front It does have holes, but it doesn't have front fans though So in the front you have once you've taken the front plate off Okay, in the front you have four bays for your hard drives these caddies slide out just like this there's a little latch on the top and slide them out like so so this is one of those caddies right here it's very plasticky there are screw holes for your uh, three and a half inch drives and your two and a half inch drives and they're not really built well because they only cost $200. So inside you have a back plane for your four SATA hard drives. In the front, you have your power button right here. You have your recessed reset button right here. Uh, your activity LED. You have four, one, two, three, four LED lights for your hard drive activity. And you have a light for your Wi-Fi. It says Wi-Fi. I don't know why it says Wi-Fi. Then you have a USB 2 port here and a USB 3 port here. It It's blue, but when I tried to peek inside, I didn't see any extra connectors for those USB 3 port the ones that the USB 3 port usually have okay turning this around to the side you see nothing to the back you see a fan cut out here I'm not sure if this is 90 degree uh, 90 mil or 120 mil you have two USB 2 ports here two gigabit Ethernet ports here, an uh, HDMI port, and the DC in for the power plug. This says there's a tiny marking here that says USB 3, but uh, they're black. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> they're, they're not blue. <laughs> okay, so turn it. The other side, nothing. And then finally back to the front. 
So, I want to take this apart for you because I want to show uh, when I was talking to the seller online, I want he showed me a photo of the motherboard and it was weird. So, I want to take this apart for you and I want to show you how it looks inside. So, here we go. Taking it apart right there. Okay, this is the inside of the NAS itself. So here, you can see that this is the motherboard right there. And there's the heatsink for the J1900 passively cold CPU. In the back, you have a, you have one, you have one sodium slot. And I was told that this took DDR3L sodium RAM. So I guess I'm putting an 8 gigabyte stick of RAM in there because I didn't get this with RAM because I think I have some lying around. Over here we have a an M.2 slot. I don't know what key this is because I've never worked or had an M.2 device before. I also don't know if this is M.2 SATA or NVMe. I don't have intentions of trying this out right here. So I have to take off one, two, three former screws so I can take off the board and I can show it to you. I'm trying to take off the front bezel by the way. I never plugged this in before and I think that's a mistake taking this apart and not plugging it in because I never tested if it posts guess we'll know wish me luck Be very, very careful. A closer look at the fan. I don't know if this is noisy. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, now to take off the motherboard itself. there it's off so as you can see this is the SATA backplane it has like a PCIe 4x connector right here and then it's held in by eight screws yeah this is the motherboard close up so here as I said is the CPU this is the heatsink you have two headers for your fans. Here you have a front panel connector. I don't know why. This says it's a COM port. Yeah. Here is your PCIe 4X slot. Um, the front panel uh, connectors right here. Ah, no, this is the back. Here's the front, front LEDs, and uh, that's it. I can't see anything else here. But this is really like a weird board. 
it's like they custom made this board really for this enclosure so that's it i plan to use unraid on this or freenas freenas are on i'm considering which one to use because um i've tried freenas before and i'm not very satisfied with the uh, requirements of freenas so might try unraid this time okay see you guys thanks for watching bye okay moment of truth i finished putting it back together i put in the force four gigabyte stick of ram uh plugged in hdmi the power uh keyboard so let's hope this turns on there's the light and is it gonna show up here there's nothing It's showing nothing! Huh? No signal detected. Oh my god, did I break it? Oh god, did I break it? That made me sweat. <laughs> So this was the stick of RAM I put inside first. This was a crucial uh, 4 gig DDR3 1600. Didn't work. Computer wasn't turning on. There was only a light and fan was spinning. But no beeps, no whatever. So I took this stick of RAM from my old... Um, Lenovo Y500 laptop. I don't know what brand this is. I think this is a Hynix RAM. It's an 8 gigabyte stick. Uh, this is a flash drive of the Unraid OS. And as you can see, it is working. I didn't break it. Yay. <laughs>